Hello everyone, I'm Steve Heward with the Florida Department of Health. Today I'm joined by Health Officer Chuck Henry and we're going to just talk about COVID operations and the virus prevalence in the community right now. So with that, Chuck, let's talk about the additional dose that we've heard so much about and the FDA had a meeting on last week. So where are we with the additional dose here in Sarasota County? That right is now? the big question of the week. So as everyone's aware, the FDA met on Friday to discuss the additional dose for the Pfizer vaccine. Uh, it was a eight hour plus meeting. Uh, after multiple discussions back and forth, they did make a recommendation that those at risk, those individuals with risk factors, which includes those over 65 is one of the risk factors, consider a third dose. Uh, and so that recommendation is passed on to the Centers for Disease Control. Uh, they have a committee that reviews immunization practices. Uh, that's the next step in this process. That committee will review, review those recommendations uh, this Wednesday and Thursday, and then they'll put out recommendations that we in the public health community will begin to follow. So we anticipate hearing something this week on the direction and the uh, uh, emergency use authorization to begin administering third doses for those with certain risk factors. So before this, we had the authorization to do uh, vac third dose vaccines mm -hmm. for those with uh, moderate to severe immune compromised concerns. Uh, this one was specific to, fi to Pfizer vaccine and it is an additional dose for those with risk other risk factors that aren't necessarily, they don't rise to the level of severe immune compromised conditions, but there are other risk factors that make you more likely if you get the disease to end up in the hospital or potentially even die. And so uh, one of those risk factors is age. Mm -hmm. So it includes, we anticipate that will include those over 65 plus those with a number of other underlying health conditions. Okay, but to be clear, the additional dose for the general population has not been recommended. So right now we're not offering it here at DOH Sarasota, correct? That is correct. You know, okay. and so around the, here at DOH Sarasota and around the state and the country, uh, third doses are being offered to those moderately to severe immune compromised individuals. And then once the CDC puts out the recommendations, uh, whatever they're gonna say later this week, we'll be implementing that. We anticipate that to include those at risk, which would be those over 65. And again, this is specific to the Pfizer vaccine. Mm -hmm. uh, Moderna vaccine has not submitted their data to the FDA to request this third dose for general population, uh, nor has Johnson & Johnson at this point. Okay, that's all great information. So really what we need to do as a community is just keep our, our you know, ear to the ground and look for that information on the additional dose for when it is available to a greater uh, number of the population. Now talking about the virus prevalence in the community, where are we at right now in Sarasota County? Well, we still have a substantially high number uh, amount of virus circulating in the community. Uh, at least that's how CDC would define it, a high amount of vac uh, virus circulating, but the numbers continue to go down. So I believe we're on the downward slope of the Delta virus surge. And so our percent positivities are down, hovering just below 10%, 9%, 8%, and continuing to trend downward. Our case uh, data, which is the other factor I really look at, uh, also continues to drop. Uh, we've gone from an average of almost 500 cases a day a few weeks ago down to just about 200 cases a day now. We anticipate that continuing to drop in the coming weeks. So we're heading in the right direction. People still need to be careful uh, until we get that level of community virus transmission down to the, to the moderate or low levels. Okay, now, so it's great to see the, you know, virus levels starting to go down a bit in Sarasota County. Um, what's the best thing that people can do right now today to prevent getting COVID, to help themselves and help the community? Well, we are still recommending, following CDC's guidelines, that uh, individuals, whether vaccinated or not, consider masking if they can't, if they're in groups of people and can't social distance. Uh, because the Delta virus is still out there. We do see some vaccine breakthrough. It's important to note though that more than 80% of those that ended up hospitalized uh, with COVID during this surge were unvaccinated. Mm -hmm. Vaccines continue to be important. And I think this is probably a good time to remind the public that even as we trend down and things move back towards normal, we need to prepare 
to be ready for the next uh, variant, mm -hmm. whatever that is. And what protects us best from that variant is vaccines. Vaccines are not 100% at preventing illness, but they are very effective at preventing serious illness, hospitalization, and death. And so if we want the next wave of whatever to have less of an impact on our community, we have to encourage more people to get vaccinated. So really, the, the, the message to the community is we must continue vaccinating. Uh, if you are unvaccinated and you're in the community, please do consider coming here to DOH Sarasota and receiving that vaccine. We offer all three of the authorized vaccines. Uh, the Pfizer vaccine is approved for those individuals 12 and up. Uh, and we have them here, as I said, at DOH Sarasota, Monday through Friday. And we have them on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday from 8.30 a.m. till 6 p.m. And then we have them on Tuesdays and Fridays from 8.30 a.m. till 4 p.m. So please come on out and get that vaccine. It is essential to move past the pandemic. Again, uh, thank you for watching. Stay up to date on everything COVID-related online, and we'll see you soon.